are back for more Sakura Succubus. <sighs> it keeps getting worse from here, guys. I swear it is. So, Marina <laughs> just whooped AU's ass. And, uh, me and Cosmos was just chilling. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so let's get back into it. Good grief. My hands feel sore after all that exercise. <laughs> Marina wiggles her fingertips in an attempt to ease the dull ache of her much abused palm. Ayu, meanwhile, is lying on the sand, curled up on her cur uh, curled up on herself in a ball. Ugh. Her arm are wound above her legs and she's sniffing to herself in a tiny voice that I can only half catch above the rolling of the waves. Stupid meanie. What a poopy head. Why do I why do I always get scolded? It's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. It's the cosmos fault. I'll tell Piss his way about this. This is the worst. Cosmos on their part is kneeling side a side. She's gently patting her on the head like one might a farmyard animal and says sweetly, There, there, don't worry, I'll look after you. Like hell you will. AU throws Cosmos hands off of her and then shoots her a fierce glance. Through the intensity of said glance, is hammered somewhat with the angry tears is been in her eyes. I don't want your sympathy. Don't touch me. I hate you. Is that because I have more Rapid followers than you, despite being younger? See? Damn. Just damn. <laughs> it's like, Cosmos, I just feel like you're just a bit mean at the moment. Seriously. <laughs> Like, come on. <laughs> what? No. Like, I care about that. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care. I don't care. What? And you whimpers, her eyelashes squeezing shut in a burst of pain flaring through her body. My ass stings. It'll be all right. There, there. Cosmos resumes petting a you. This time, she doesn't stroke the crown of her head, but her reddened behind. A you hiss at this, but she doesn't try to push Cosmos away. Maybe she doesn't have the energy. She certainly looks defeated. Goodness gracious, those silly younger sisters of mine. Marina shakes her head, bemused and fold her arms over her ample chests. I'm sorry, Hiroki, for causing such a disturbance. I didn't mean to interrupt you while you were working, but I had no choice. Once I heard Cosmos was over here, I knew I had to check up on things, too. Cosmos and AU always butted heads, and I feared they would be some falling out. We suck you by are physically stronger than most human, I was worried you might get caught up in one of their silly fights. Then you'd be injured. So that's why Marina's here. I was wondering. That makes sense, I guess. As the older succubus in the group, I feel obliged to discipline her juniors. At least they cause me any problems. Marina might come across as a cool, distant beauty, but... She's actually quite caring. Thanks, Marina. You helped me out a lot. Those two are tugging at my arm so hard, I was afraid I was splitting down the middle. If you had split down in two, that might have been for the best. Then, my sisters wouldn't fight over you, so... Perhaps two Arokis wouldn't be enough. I'm fond of you, too. And I don't want to give you up to AU and Cosmos without a fight. Marina pouts cutely curling a strand of white hair around her finger. 
You don't think I'm old and saggy, do you, Rookie? What? Of course not. Really? Girl, how could I? Look at you! How the fuck am I supposed to tell you you're old, bitch? Come on. You look sexy as hell. God damn, how the hell am I supposed to do that? The fuck? Really? You might be older than AU and Cosmos, but that doesn't diminish your charms. I don't... I think you're a very attractive woman, and I'm glad you care about me so much. This makes me very happy. Oh, thank goodness. That is a relief. I don't intend to let AU's words get to me, but she is right on that score. I am a good deal older than both her and Cosmos. I've been feeling somewhat subconscious about it as of late. In any event, I must apologize once more for getting in your way. As a businesswoman myself, I know how aggravating it is to be distracted while on your job. It's, um, it's alright. I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you. You convinced a you to meet with me, and you paid the tickets. I'm in your debt, Marina. I bow my head before her and then she smiles. It's quite alright, dear. As you are my partner, it's natural. I should help where I can. I fear my machination have done a little to aid you, though. Marina placed her fingers against her chin, a thoughtful look upon her face. Were you able to take any photographs of AU? I took a few, but it would have been nice if I get some more. Uh, it'd be good to get some shots of her in her different outfits or at a different location. Yes, indeed, you're quite white. Then the solution is clear. You must spend even more time with us. Oh yes, that's a great idea. Ayu, who seemingly recovered from her trauma, springs to her feet. She strikes a cute pose and then proclaims, One day is simply not enough time to capture all my charms. If you want to get some decent photos of yours truly, you'll need to spend at least a week in my presence. That's not fair. I want to spend a week with Hiroki too. And I could use a break from work. What? Are you fucking serious? Okay, it's like it's like I'm being set up here. I swear. Like, first of all, how the fuck are you gonna? Oh my god. Okay. All right. Fine. 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 Fang. Might as well let them all three come and clobber me. Fucking hell. I'll take that out of contact and I could use a break from work, I'd very much like to toy with you for a full seven days, darling. Fucking hell. Like hell, he's your darling. He's my cameraman. No, he's my boyfriend. Darling, cameraman, boyfriend, uh, you guys? I glance between the three succubi, an awkward grimace of my face. Naturally, I'm flattered that these three babes are taking such an interest in me, but I'm a little perturbed, too. I don't want them attacking me one another again. It's not worth it. Besides, I don't think I'll be able to get a full week off of work. My, bo ugh, my boss is very stingy. He'll turn down my request in an instant. Oh my. I wouldn't worry about him, darling. Marina replies, Arkley, with a nary a hint of concern, marrying her pretty face. I arranged something with your boss of yours. He's a tedious bore of a man, but I can wrap him around my fingers like yarn. It's not like you'd be on vacation anyway. You'd be busy taking photos of me in this upcoming uh, article. You could put it down as a business expense. And then, when you get tired from work, it collapse in my arms. I'll give you a long for a massage and help you forget all your woes. <laughs> what? No way! I'd be the one to eat Haruki's concerns. Really? But you're not his boyfriend? He's just a cameraman. You have no right to touch him. 
That would be a breach of work space etiquette. Urgh, you're smarter than you look. And you, just as dumb as you look. Why you, that does it. Oh boy. Now you and Cosmo start brawling, still dressed in their skimmy succubus attire. Cosmos tug at AU's long twin tails, while AU pinches Cosmos' cheeks like a moochie. Their enraged shout echoes across the sand, mingled with a calling of the gulls. Those two are certainly lively, aren't they? Yes, indeed. It's because they're so young, relatively speaking. They have lots to learn. Marina sighs and shakes her head. She looks aspirated, exasperated, sorry, as a put upon teacher. But I think I can see genuine compassion in her eyes. Cosmos and AU might annoy her, but I'm sure she cares about them as she cares for me. Ideally, I find myself thinking she'd make a great mother. She's so nurturing. I know, right? Well, putting them to one side for now. Would you like to go on a trip to a hot spring with us next week? I prefer it to be just you and I, of course, but I doubt those girls will let us sulk off on our own. They can be very demanding. And you do need to take more photos of AU. At the hot springs, though? Don't think that's a good idea, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'll work things out with your boss, and I'll pay for it out of pocket. How does that sound? It sounds like pleasant enough, but now, now, Marina cups her cheeks. Cups my cheeks, excuse me. Ooh, don't take that out of context. Um, <laughs> Marina cups my cheeks with her hands and leans in. Her eyes have livid and sultry. Her large bosom presses against my chest, and I can smell a powerful floral aroma emitting from her skin. I'm not sure if this is because of her perfume or if this is some scent unique to Succubi. But now that I think about it, Cosmo smell good too. Please say yes. Marina stares into my eyes, her voice is, voice is soft, a seductive whisper. It would break my heart if you refused, my darling Hiroki. Well, honestly speaking, I'm a little worried about this invitation. But I'd while I'd love to relax my weary body in a hot spring being groped at by three horny succubi, sound, sounds exhausting. Who knew growing Mr. Popular could be so hard? <sighs> Who knew being Mr. Popular could be so hard? Yeah, sir, I wouldn't necessarily say that, but going ahead with your obligation. <laughs> I'm not sure if I could deal with Cosmos and AU's constant bickering for a, a whole week, but Marina's being so kind, I'd feel guilty to use her offer it's like you guys uh, now i i kind of figured because i was wondering why the hell like some of the wording was fucked up and trust me i take english class like i can tell this was fucked up to the whole thing <sighs> refuse her offer her dynamite body is simply simply hard to resist oh all right then i'll go with you it will make a nice change of pace at least Wonderful! I knew you'd make the right choice, Hiroki. <laughs> well, of course I made the right decision. I didn't have any choice to make. And that's besides the point. It looks like I'll be going on a trip soon. I can hardly wait. Next Monday. Is this the place we'll be staying? Yes, it is. It's one of the best rated Rokins in the area. Sorry if I butchered that, guys. 
It's in such a beautiful, scenic location. What do you think, everybody? Wow. I whistled, impressed, as I take in my surroundings. After a couple of hours on the train with a handful of changes, the four of us make our way to our destination, that being this charming... Uh, Roy Khan? I don't know how you say that. The Rokan is located by the countryside, only a few stones throw away from Mount Fuji. The Rokan is located at the top of the hill, and though getting there was a bit of a slug, I think it was worth it. The air smells crisp and clean, and the tall Sadar trees are breathtaking. The Rokin itself is a large, spacious building which looks a little like an old-fashioned palace. A gentle breeze ruffles a hem of my shirt and a flyaway hair I can smell sulfur mingled with an early earthly aroma <laughs> of the forest. Is that from the hot springs? I haven't seen the springs yet and if there's anything that the facade of this rocaine i'm sure they'll be luxurious luxurious fuck i'm <laughs> the place looks nice marina in fact it looks better than nice i've never stayed anywhere this fancy in my life thank you for organizing the trip but are you sure you are right paying for this this place looks expensive don't worry about it, dear. I have more than enough money. I prefer to use my wealth to bring others joy rather than hoard it like a dragon. But And what about you two? Marina shoots quizzical looks at AU and Cosmos, the final two members of our quartet. Do you like the place? I think it's incredible. I've never been to the countryside before. I thought it would be smelly and run down, but this place is amazing. I need to take a lot of photos. My fans on Reddit would love to see this. Cosmos reaches into the phone of her short shorts and extricates her phone. She begins snapping photos of Rokan excitedly as all the gusto of the American tourist. I'm glad you're easily to you're so easy to please. <laughs> Marina giggles. And what about you? her majesty over here? Hmm. A Kiyu stands proud and undaunted. She's clad at her footly costume she usually wears while performing. Her skirt <sighs> Her skirt layered like a wedding cake, her white shirt but decorated with ribbons. She's even wearing a little hat that caught my attention during our first meeting. How does her hat stay on her head anyway? It's a mystery. It's too hot outside. I'm sweaty. If you checked the weather forecast before you set off, you would have known that. Marina clicks her tongue. Why did you decide to wear that silly outfit anyway? It's not very practical. Says you, Miss I live in my business suits. Business suits are certainly more sensible than your over over desired garments I can always take off my jacket and unbutton my shirt if it gets too hot but how can you cool down you've already exposed so much there's a little left for you to remove can it you old hag I have to wear this outfit right or shine and as an idol I'm always performing for my fans whether I'm on stage or not if that'd be the case I need to look cute that's very, uh, yeah, I was about to say, we're taking a vacation and you're doing this right now? Especially since you're wearing an outfit that you know that is a little overboard. I can't lie, I actually do like the outfit though. Inspiring, but I don't think you need to wear quite that many ribbons. We got no shortage of funny looks on the train, thanks to AU's appearance. Does she love being a center of attention as much? She's so vain. Oh, what do you know? You're just a cameraman. You don't understand the first thing about fashion. And I'd rather die to wear a Boeing suit like you in a bag jacket like Cosmos. I'm too good for that. 
Have fun sweating, then. I won't have fun. Nothing about this rotten journey will be fun so far, but I'm doing my best to bear it. There's nobody bet. There's nothing better than faking smiles like season idols. <laughs> really, though? Hey, you scowls her face thunderous once more. I hate the countryside, especially in the summer. So muggy. And there's so many ex ugh, insects. <laughs> I can't speak. It's smelly, it's nasty, and it's inconvenient. Plus, this place looks like it's hundreds of years old. I'd far rather stay in a nice modern hotel, not a hovel like this. Why, you? Marina rounds on a popmatic idol, no doubt ready to discipline her. But Cosmos gets there quicker. She grabs a hold of AU, a bright smile on her face, and says, Don't be mad, we're on vacation, smile AU. I don't feel like smiling, particularly not when I'm with you. Let go of me. I won't. We need to take a photo together, so everybody on Rapid Pound knows we're having fun. I want to make my three million fans happy. You're an idol. You should understand. Don't you want to make your fans happy too? Like I care about them, they're all disgusting pigs. I think they're. I think they break out into the cold sweats if they spoke to a real woman. They're the worst. They. Wait. Did you say you want to upload this photo to Rapid Hound? Yes, I do. Is that a problem? No, that's not a problem. In fact, that's a good idea. After all, we're such good friends. Hmm. She sure changed her tune. <laughs> I can't imagine why. <laughs> I can't even. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's not like the dumb bitch literally heard what you fucking said, but I'm not gonna say nothing. Though AU doesn't say it aloud, I think I understood what's prompted this sudden bout of docility. Cosmos has three million rapid pound followers, but AU has less than one million. If Cosmos upload a selfie of them online, it could boost AU's exposure. AU doesn't care about Cosmos, but she certainly doesn't want to be her friend. She's just trying to steal her fans. I was, I wonder what to think of this little ploy. Yeah, it's kind of unfair. I think it's unfair to Cosmos, to be fair. Are you being so brazen about this? I can't help but feel annoyed. Cosmos seems pretty genuine about befriending a you, but all you could think about is herself. She's so selfish. I don't think a you deserves a sweet, earnest friend like Cosmos. That's not even close to the truth. Whew, okay. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell to join the R&I today. It's been Zed, guys. Later.